Hey, what's going on, everybody? Cyber Ray 1976 coming at you today, also known as Evil Eddie. Going to do a big DVD Blu ray update for you today. Uh, it's been a while since I've done my last one, uh, it's probably a little before Christmas. I've got a lot to show you today. Um, this is going to be my Mega uh, A to Z update. Uh, it's going to be A to Z. I'm going to have all my movies in alphabetical order. I've got a total of uh, 42 movies to show you. Uh, this is going to be a two-parter. So I'm going to do about uh, 21 movies this segment. Maybe 21 movies the next segment. So be sure and tune in for part two. And I'm going to go through these kind of fast. Uh, so, yeah, that's Godzilla and Mecha Godzilla getting ready to do battle in my window. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. First one I got on the list, starting with A, I've got the first series of Adam's Family, which is a classic TV show, one of my all-time favorites. Found this at a pawn shop. Believe it or not, I got this for two dollars. I couldn't believe it. All right, next on the list, I got American Beauty. Awesome movie, just excellent, all around excellent movie. I had not seen this, except in bits and pieces, and uh, I finally sat down and watched it all, and it's, it's just a phenomenal movie. It's very good. Picked this up at a pawn shop. I have not seen this yet. Automaton Transfusion. Um, this is the unrated edition. It says Bloody Disgusting calls this one of the best zombie films in decades. Now I'll have to see it to believe it. But. I'm looking forward to checking it out. Uh, next on the list, this is Back to School. This is the Extra Curricular Edition. This is one of my favorite 80s films with Rodney Dangerfield. He's one of my all-time favorite comedians. You can never get enough Rodney, right? Had this on VHS. I wanted to get this particular version of it on DVD. Next on the list. The Holy Special Edition Batman version of Batman the movie. This is extremely campy, extremely cheesy, but it's a lot of fun if you're a fan of the original 60's television show. You'll love this. And next on the list we got Volume 1. Volume 2 and Volume 3 of Beavis and Butthead. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty cool. <laughs> so, uh, like, watch them and stuff. <laughs> yeah, I grew up uh, watching this show on MTV. It's one of my favorite, one of my favorite cartoons. And uh, so I had to, uh, I found these really cheap for 10 bucks a piece. So I had to rack up on these. Next on the list, the 20th anniversary deluxe edition of Beetlejuice. One of my all time favorite comedies. Another one of my favorite comedies from the 80s. Who hasn't seen Beetlejuice? He's the ghost with the most. Absolutely love this movie. This was the first movie that I ever saw in the drive-in theater. We have a drive-in theater not too far from where I live. It's about uh, about 45 minutes away. I picked uh, up the complete series of Buck Rogers. 
Got this at Walmart for just 10 bucks. Couldn't believe it. Used to watch this show when I was a kid with my dad. Uh, I remember watching it, but I didn't remember too much about it. But uh, the complete series for all, I think it's 36 episodes for just 10 bucks. It's great. And of course, if you're a sci fi buff like me, you you know all about Buck Rogers. Uh, moving on, I got this for, actually got this for Christmas and I haven't been able to show you until now. This is the Creature from the Black Lagoon, the Legacy Collection. Uh, this has all three Creature films on it. Creature from the Black Lagoon, Creature's Revenge, or the Revenge of the Creature, and the Creature Walks Among Us. This is one of my Christmas presents, uh, along with another one that I'll show you here soon. Picked up Demons. Demons 2. Uh, I had these on VHS, I wanted them on DVD. Found them both for pretty cheap at the mall. Uh, two of my favorite horror movies from the 80s. I actually saw Demons 2 before I saw the first one growing up and it scared the living hell out of me. Uh, but uh, yeah, I was real happy to find these. Next up, Dungeons and Dragons. The animated series from the 80s. You'll notice the trend here. I've got a lot of stuff from the 80s. Um, this is uh, one of the cartoons I grew up with. Uh, I really didn't watch this cartoon that much growing up, and I don't know why. I guess I must have uh, switched over to watch something else when this came on, but I, I, I didn't watch this all that much. But uh, it's a great cartoon series. This is the, the beginnings. This is like the first nine episodes of the series. Next up on the list, the 20th anniversary of Evil Tunes. Um, this is pretty much Roger Rabbit on crack. <laughs> uh, it's about a, an evil cartoon character that gets brought to life through a spell out of a book that looks an awful lot like the Necronomicon from the <laughs> Evil Dead movies. It has David Carradine in it, Monique Gabrielle, and a bunch of other scantily clad, half-naked women. Uh, but it's a lot of fun. I watched this not too long ago. Next up, Excalibur. I had this on VHS, but I wanted to get it on DVD. Found this at Walmart pretty cheap. It's a great uh, 80s sword and sorcery movie, which I'm all about sword and sorcery. If you've not seen Excalibur, it's pretty awesome. Speaking of sword and sorcery, well, not so much sorcery as it is swords. Uh, Gladiator with Russell Crowe. This is another one I had on VHS. I wanted to go ahead and pick it up. Found it pretty cheap at the pawn shop. It's an awesome movie. Um, actually based on a true story. If you've never seen Gladiator, I highly recommend it. It's very good. Won five Academy Awards right there, so that right there tells you something. up grandma's boy this is the unrated edition I've never seen this checked it out it's pretty funny uh, it's not as funny as I thought it was gonna be but it's pretty funny I recommend it so if you like Billy Madison happy Gilmore and stuff like that it's done by the same company so check it out and last but not least, Hatchet 2. I watched this uh, about a week or so ago with my buddies. Um, it's okay. I like the first one better. The movie John 75 liked the second one better. But, you know, it's gory, it's fun, it's bloody, it's violent. What do you expect? And that's all I'm going to show you in this segment. Be sure and tune in for part two, and I will go through the rest of the list. I'll see you guys then. Peace.